abdominal pain abdominal pain abscess no cardia L abscesses 2 abscesses 3 purchase equipment download database view videos spooky2.com the spooky2 forum spooky2 facebook page file database global online utils advanced menu help purchase equipment download database view videos search abdominal cramps j abdominal inflammant abdominal pain abdominal pain spooky2.com Abscess no cardia is abscesses 2 I abscesses 3 the spooky 2 forum spooky 2 Facebook page 3 This will take you to the spooky 2 Vimeo channel 4 This command takes you to the spooky 2.com website Back to contents 124 file database global one online utils advanced menu help search purchase equipment download database abdominal cramps abdominal inf1 and mat view videos Abdominal pain spoolchi 2com J abdominal pain, abscess no cardia is the spooky 2 forum, abscesses 2, abscesses 3 spooky 2 Facebook page, 5. This will take you to the spooky 2 forum entrance page where you can then log in. File database global f online 1 utils advanced menu help, search purchase equipment download database view videos spooky 2.com the spooky 2 forum. Abdominal cramps, abdominal inflammal, abdominal pain, J abdominal pain, abscess and cardia is abscesses 2, abscesses 3, spooky 2 Facebook page. 6. This command will take you to the original spooky 2 Facebook page. Back to contents, my web notes, utils menu, these 6 commands install drivers, show you which generator is being controlled by which channel, and more. File database global online utils advanced menu help search identify ports abdominal cramp 3 identify users abdominal inflammation install udb drivers abdominal pain abdominal pain install spooky xm32 bit drivers abscess no cardia asteroids abscesses 2 install spooky xm64 bit drivers abscesses 3 abscesses secondary show generator status program options rescan devices 1. Identify ports works on all stop generator displays by replacing the last zero in the F line with a channel number. File database global online utils, advanced menu help, search identify ports, identify users, abdominal cramp 3, abdominal inflammation install UDB drivers, abdominal pain, abdominal pain install spooky XM32 bit drivers, abscess no cardia asteroids. Abscesses 2 install spooky XM64 bit drivers, abscesses 3, abscesses secondary show generator status, program options rescan devices. 3. As its name suggests, the install UDB drivers command installs drivers for the UDB 1108S generator. Back to contents, file database global online utils advanced menu help, search identify ports, identify users, Abdominal cramps, abdominal inflammation install UDB drivers, abdominal pain, abdominal pain install spooky XM32 bit drivers, abscess no cardia asteroids, abscesses 2 install spooky XM64 bit drivers, abscesses 3, abscesses secondary show generator status, program options rescan devices. 2. Identify users will produce a list of subject names. Useful for clinicians using program patient name for subject info. File database global online utils advanced menu help, search identify ports, identify users, abdominal cramps, abdominal inflammation install UDB drivers, abdominal pain, abdominal pain install spooky XM32 bit drivers, abscess no cardia asteroids, abscesses to install spooky XM64 bit drivers, abscesses 3. Abscesses secondary show generator status, program options rescan devices. 4. Whichever of these two commands is available, not gray, will install Spooky 2-5M drivers appropriate for your PC. 126. File database global online utils advanced menu help, search identify ports identify users install udb drivers install spooky xm32 bit drivers install spooky xm64 bit drivers abdominal cramp 3 abdominal inflammation 1 abdominal pain abdominal pain abscess no cardia asteroids abscesses 2 abscesses 3 abscesses secondary show generator status 
Program Options Rescan Devices, 5 opens a window showing the frequencies and voltage for both outs on each generator which can be saved to file. 11 Close, Generator Status, Channel Number 2, Out 1 equals 1,600,495.460037 Hz 20 VOUT 2 equals 400,123.865009441 Hz 20 V, Channel 3, out 1 equals 1,400,832 Hz 20 VOUT 2 equals 15,409,152 Hz 20 V, channel minus 4 OUT 1 equals 1,596,981.156254464 Hz 20 VOLT 2 equals 1,661,143.84374 56 Hz 20 V, channel number 6, out L equals 121,500 Hz 20 V L T 2 equals 121,500 Hz 20 V, channel minus 7, out 1 equals 29,760 Hz 20V LUT 2 equals 29,760 Hz 20V, channel 8, out 1 equals 1865 Hz 20V LUT 2 equals 1865 Hz 20V, channel number 9, out 1 equals 235,008 Hz 20V LUT 2 equals 235,008 Hz 20V, channel number 24, out L equals 156,928 Hz 20V LUT2 equals 1,726,208 Hz 20V, channel number 26, out L equals 33 Hz 20V. OUT2 equals 33 Hz 20V, channel number 27, out L equals 3 Hz 20V LUT2 equals 3 Hz 20V, channel number 28. OUT1 equals 767,500.16 Hz 20 VOUT2 equals 767,500.16 Hz 20 V, channel number 29, OUTL equals 27,392 Hz 20 VOUT2 equals 27,392 Hz 20 V, channel number 30, OUTL equals 240 Hz. 9.5 VLUT2 equals 240 Hz 9.5 B, channel number 31, OUTL equals 42,624 Hz 20 VLUT2 equals 468,864 Hz 20 V, channel number 32, OUTL equals 5.8 Hz 20 VLUT2 equals 5.8 Hz 20 V, channel number 33, Outl equals 18670.15 Hz 20 V L U T 2 equals 18670.15 Hz 20 V, right. To I file, back to contents, file database global online utils advanced menu help, search, abdominal cramps abdominal inflammation abdominal pain abdominal pain abscess no cardia asteroids abscesses 2 abscesses 3 abscesses secondary, program options, Identify ports Identify users Install UDB drivers Install Spooky XM 32-bit drivers Install Spooky XM 64-bit drivers Show generator status Rescan devices 6. Sends a handshake signal to an offline generator, bringing it back online without having to stop your entire rig. 2 commands in the utils menu Open new windows Identify users and show generator status. Since they're both very similar, we'll just take a look at show generator status, left. When you choose this command, Spooky2 takes a snapshot of the frequencies and voltages being transmitted from both outs of each generator. This can be saved as a text file named generator status txt. One excellent way to use this would be if you were partway through a multi-generator treatment, but you wanted to install a new version of Spooky2. Choose the command. Do your installation, then relaunch, and use the file to restore each generator to the point it had reached before. 127, Advanced Menu, you'll find many powerful and useful goodies tucked away out of sight in here, ranging from troubleshooting tools to a timer for setting a global pause period for your rig. Advanced Menu J This menu is different from all the others. When you click it, there's no drop-down list of commands shown. 
instead, a new window opens. Although it isn't strictly speaking a menu, it's always been called the advanced menu. Inside it, among other features, you get Enable sound control, this enables or disables Spooky 2's launch sound as well as the biofeedback scan completion alert. Global controls for amplitude wobble, this wobble is applied with the toggle button in the channel control panel. Global controls for frequency wobble, also applied as a toggle in the channel control panel. Global pause timing, sets a time period during which all channels will pause, then unpause when the time's up. Gate off voltage and frequency, normally set at 0 and 0. All UDBs are 19,200 BPS, used to ensure smooth operation of UDB generators with slower USB communication speeds. Utility buttons for important functions like writing a USB communications or program log for troubleshooting. A graph for some important spooky pulse functions. Frequency blacklist control, used to block Spooky2 from ever transmitting specified frequencies. Blacklist suboptions for harmonics. A driver load check pane, useful for channel driver troubleshooting. Main database file path, showed the exact location of the currently loaded database. A count of all frequency sets contained in both main and custom databases. Back to contents, 128, advanced menu, DDS generators, Refresh rate 66 Hz percent steps, amplitude wobble, triangle J8016, frequency wobble, triangle EL516, pause between 10801 pm and 10801 pm, gate off equals 0 V0 Hz 15 inches fast gate, are all UDBs are 19200 BPS a right USB capture log a right program log 17 enable sound or auto start all channels, emulating spooky pulse, frequency blacklist control, add, 1840, 1910, F avoid octal harmonics or avoid scalar harmonics, J, Silicon Labs Camp 210X USB to UART bridge, COM3, 3B, C backslash spooky to backslash frequentis CSV, DBC, 6369, back to contents, DDS generators, enter the number of physical generators you have connected here, this speeds up spooky to launches. Refresh rate, controls the speed of the gate and all the feathering and wobble options in spooky 2's Apple menu. Their speed will be half the number you enter here. Amplitude and frequency wobbles, these prevent organisms from becoming adapted to frequencies. These settings are separate from those in the channel's program options pane. These will only be applied when you click the amplitude and frequency wobble toggle buttons in a channel control panel. Pause between, sets a global pause for all channels. This can be defeated in individual channels by checking override pause schedule in each program options pane. Gate off, when the gate closes, you normally want voltage to drop to zero and frequency to be zero hertz. If you wish to change this, do so here. Check fast gate to free up channel resources for faster gating rates. 129, all UDBs are 19,200 BPS, allows Spooky2 to drive UDBs with slower V4.2 firmware. Write USB capture log, logs all Spooky2 USB traffic. Write program log, writes a complete record of spooky to activity to a log file. Enable sound, activate startup sound and scan completion alert. Frequency blacklist control, a very few frequencies are known to cause problems. Two which you should enter immediately into this list are 1840 Hz and 1910 Hz, both can cause malignancy growth. You can avoid octal and scalar harmonics by checking the boxes if you wish. However, this can result in very important frequencies being skipped in some programs. Occasionally, you may come across one frequency in a set that causes discomfort. To get around this, you can enter it temporarily here to allow you to use the rest of the set, then try re-enabling it when circumstances permit. To enter a blacklisted frequency, click in the top field and type it, then click the Add button. To remove all frequencies from your blacklist and start over, click the button top right. Back to contents, graph pane and graph button.
Click on the button to show the graph below. Backslash this will display a scrolling graph of your JBioFeedback scan use pulse choice. Clicking the button again will stop the graph. BPA 86 by J. 8 times 1, this graph show the BPM, and it's the same one that's shown in the biofeedback scan pane in the channel control panel. Now here's the graph it's shown when you choose HRV, 130, graph. Help menu, refresh rates for running channels will slow to the subject's pulse rate. It's advisable to hide the pulse graph if you require fast feathering or gating. Driver load check pane. This shows an entry for each driver load on all channels. Check this if you're having generator communication problems. DB, this shows the file path for the currently loaded main database. DBC, this is the total number of frequency sets contained in your main and custom databases. File database global online utils advanced menu help, search clear credits, about, abdominal cramps XTRA 72, 9,190,304 LFTT year FTFWW J G was Loren. SD aft J, the credits command opens a window with information about the people who develop and support the Spooky2 Rife system. File database global online utils advanced menu help J, credits, search J clear, abdominal cramp 3 XTPA 72, 9,190,304 about J, Spooky 2 is normally updated on the first day of every month, with occasional releases in between. The About command brings up a window that shows the release date of the version you're currently using. Back to Contents, 131, Conditions and Database, Abdominal Cramps Abdominal Inflammation Abdominal Pain Abdominal Pain Abscess No Cardia Asteroid XTRA, 72, 9190304 2489, 2170, 1865, 110,000, 3000, 95, 3, 30, 40, 5000, 10,000, 228 trillion, 231 billion, 237 million, 694,710, 8, 0, 6, 5, 40, 17 PROV 17 Bio, 7 Vega minus 17 CAFLP. XTRAVC UST 17 Rife minus 17 HC, 7 kHz, 7 ALT. The top graphic shows the conditions list when the font size slider, left, is set to its lowest position, LOPT. The one beneath it shows the change when it's set to its highest position, 16 pints. Grab the slider handle to show the font size. Search, when Spooky2 launches, the main and your custom databases are loaded into the conditions list. If you enter a word or partial word associated with a condition you want to treat, both databases are automatically searched for relevant entries. Set names, text in additional notes, and system illness and manifestation text fields, if used, are searched. A search for a frequency will return all sets in which that frequency is used. Back to contents 132. The search results will replace the contents of the conditions list. One or more results can be loaded into a program by double-clicking their lines. Clear button. Click this to remove the search term and the list of results, and return the contents of both databases to the conditions list. Note that you can perform multiple successive searches without needing to clear the previous search. Date and time. The current date and time is shown at the top right. Database. Spooky2's main database is made up of 10 sub-databases. To include them all in your searches, click the plus button. You can also simply check only those you want included. To deselect all sub-databases at once so you can quickly select just a few to search, click the button. PROV has produced consistent results in virtually all subjects it was used with. Bio and Vega are both excellent based on Russian frequency research. CAFL is the consolidated annotated frequency list, amassed from the experience of rife experimenters over years. XTRA is a collection of sets from various sources, all chosen for their reputation for effectiveness. CUST is your own personal database. 
Rife is a collection of Drive Royal Raymond Rife's original frequencies. HC is Dr. Hugh de Clark's database. Use with a square wave, 100% positive offset, and amplitude of 9.5. KHZ is a collection of higher frequencies. Use with a square or inverse or tooth wave, 100% positive offset, and amplitude of 9.5. ALT consists of sets based on Ayurvedic knowledge and practice, solfeggios, and planetary frequencies. Conditions list contains the contents of both the main and custom database files if the search field is empty. Displays results from both when a search is performed. Selection count, the first numeral is always the line count from the top of the conditions list pane when a selection is made. When the search field is blank. The second numeral is the number of frequency sets contained in both databases. When a search has been performed, this changes to the total number of results returned. Back to contents, 133, program options, frequency multiplier repeat every frec repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier, amplitude wobble, frequency wobble, I reduce amplitude 10 kHz, R33 Hz gate F randomized I skip concurrent duplicate frec I remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule I prevent global start, 111 duty side amplitude offset out 1550 out 255% V% percent frequency limits Hz apply greater than 0, octal 0 C scalar, U1 phase angle 000, apply, disabled, 0% 16 steps frequencies directly Disable JL degree% percent 16 steps do not sort for Quinos J, F2 equals F1, Hertz, 1, C, 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 out 2 control out 2 equals, out 1 out 2 equals, out 1 copy gate, waveform, R, uh, I add FI to F2, 1, plus 0, 1, volts, V stop when out 1 stop spike, R, RXT length ratio, 1L, RJ. BXBY. BXBY, follow out all spike plus sync inverse plus sync, R. R, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 11, 11, 16, 16, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, hertz, spectrum, percent, 0, 0, V plus spike, 17, spike, count 0, program options, this is Spooky 2's dashboard, providing complete control. From here on every channel, you can transpose a program manually or automatically. Repeat frequencies, sets, programs. Set duty cycle for both outputs. Set amplitude and offset, 5M, generators only. Set phase angle for both outputs. Enable and configure amplitude and frequency wobbles. Configure action for out of range frequencies. Enable gate. Randomize gate. Prevent transmission of duplicates. Override global pause schedule. Choose from a large list of frequency modulations. Sort frequencies ascending or descending, or leave as listed. Assign, configure, view, and design custom waveforms for each output. Control frequency voltage relationships between outputs. Back to contents, 134, this is a lot of information to try to take in at once, so let's break the program options pane down into its component parts, frequency multiplier, used to multiply all frequencies. Decimals without limit can be input an easy way to convert a set to octal or scalar harmonics without having to calculate individual values or edit the set. Most of the frequencies we use today were originally developed on Rife machines that could only transmit up to 10,000 Hz or 100,000 Hz. Since Dr. Rife and Dr. Hugh de Clark discovered that the fundamental frequencies of pathogens and parasites were up in the megahertz range, which Spooky2 can transmit, this means that the frequencies we're using are actually very low subharmonics, and thus not as powerful as the much higher fundamentals. Here's what John White says, frequency multipliers should be set to an octal harmonic, 
not a random number like 200. These numbers are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. I find it best if I use a large number like 32768 and set frequency limits to the highest frequency of interest, normally around 2 MHz then I apply octal subharmonics. Works a charm. Repeat every freq each set program, enter the number of frequency, set, and program repeats required. A value of zero for repeat program will loop the program indefinitely. Use values appropriate for the transmission mode you're using. Back to contents, dwell multiplier, changes runtime dwells for all frequencies in a program. A value of 0.25 will cause your program to transmit in one quarter of its normal time. This enables you to increase or reduce all the dwell times in your complete program, this includes default dwells and any coded into the sets. It's mostly used to reduce dwell times because experienced users found that the enhanced power of the spooky remote produced the same results as the old DNA holder in as little as one third of the time. This means you can achieve results in 20 minutes that used to take an hour. To reduce the dwell to one third, enter 0.33. For half the dwell, enter 0.5, and so on. The reason we haven't simply changed all the dwells in the database is because not everyone can use a spooky remote many frequency sensitive people still use the older DNA holders because they find spooky remote too powerful for them. Duty cycle dictates a waves on off status minus 50% means it's on for half its cycle. This changes the waves energy content. 135, amplitude and offset. Enter amplitude and offset values for a spooky 2-5M. Offset is normally 0 for remote and contact, and 100 for plasma, and zapper sets. The UDB1108S generator must be manually set up. Phase angle, requires both outs. Useful when driving an external device that can mix both signals, the difference between two out-of-phase waves can create harmonics that hit mortal oscillatory rates. For touch highs only, frequency limits, for best effect, use high frequencies for killing. Dr. Reif and Dr. Clark found that the fundamental frequencies of most organisms were in the KHZ range. But past tech limitations meant that only low subharmonics could be used on most machines. If you enter an appropriate frequency in the field, Spooky2 solves this problem. For example, a low threshold of 100,000 Hz here will turn the CAFL follicular mange low frequencies 253, 693, 701, and 774 into 129,536, 177,408, 179,456, and 198,144. The control sets the high threshold. Any frequency higher than the value here will be lowered to the highest harmonic below it that your generator is set up for. Wobbles, some pathogens can adapt to frequency attack. Back to contents, frequency limits IHZ apply. 0, octal, 0 scalar, I amplitude wobble disabled XI 0% 16 steps I. Frequency wobble disabled, 0% 16 steps. The answer is to apply amplitude and or frequency wobbles to rapidly change the signal strength and frequency. When set here, wobbles apply once the channel is running. Amplitude and frequency wobble controls are also found in the advanced menu. Settings made here will only apply to the toggle buttons for these functions you'll find in each channel's control panel. If you feel a definite reaction from a frequency, it can be good to apply one or both wobbles with these buttons. 1% is a good value for frequency wobble. The menu choices are disabled, sawtooth, inverted sawtooth, and triangle. These waveforms describe the shape of the wobble's progress. Example, triangle starts with no wobble, ramps up to full wobble at the percentage chosen in the number of steps specified, then ramps back down to zero wobble, and repeats. Percentage is the amount of wobble you wish to apply and steps specifies the number of discrete jumps in a single cycle, 16 is a good value. More than this increases the resolution of the sweep, but also increases the time taken. 136, the apply menu, 
allows you to apply a constant rapid change to each frequency in a set. The speed of this change is set in the advanced menu. There are many different modulations to choose from, as well as the ability to disable the function. The choices will be explained later. This option is different, and in addition, to the configurable frequency wobble. Both can be used at the same time. Sort menu, some developers maintain that using frequencies in ascending order will produce different results from descending order. This menu allows you to choose frequencies ascending, descending, or do not sort. Reduce amplitude, check this box to prevent low frequencies from causing discomfort in contact mode. Gate, this is a control signal which turns the main signal on and off very rapidly, 4 Hz equals 4 times a second. Its application to the main signal can be randomized. This helps to prevent any pathogen adaptation. Its speed, or, more accurately, rate, is set in the advanced menu as shown. Back to contents, reduce amplitude 10 kHz, 4 Hz gate randomized, S slash skip concurrent duplicate frec remove duplicate frequencies override pause schedule prevent global start. Apoly, JJ plus minus 0.02% feathering? I, do not sort frequencies, I refresh rate 3 Hz this rate is half the value, you enter in the refresh rate field above. In this example, the value is 8 Hz, so the gate is labeled 4 Hz gate. If you change this from 8 Hz to 16 Hz, the gate label would change to 8 Hz gate, and all the wobble and feathering rates would also be twice as fast. Faster rates are generally better, but if you're running a lot of channels, all of which have multiple gates and wobbles, it will greatly increase the computation load on Spooky 2. If this happens, usually on older, slower PCs, you can tick the fast gate checkbox in the advanced menu to free up unused resources. But you should be fine with up to about half a dozen generators. Gate is normally only used in plasma mode, but it can be very useful in the other modes too, because it provides an additional hammering effect to keep pathogens off balance. Skip concurrent duplicate frec, if you're running multiple generators, it's possible that identical frequencies used in different sets may coincidentally be transmitted at the same time. This uncontrolled frequency duplication can cause unwanted phase problems, and even wave cancellation, where do, waves cancel each other out completely. With this box checked, Spooky2 will never allow duplicates to be transmitted simultaneously. Remove duplicate frequencies, some sets, particularly those developed on older machines, contain duplicates. In some cases, this may be what you want, some frequency foundation sets. In others, it serves no useful purpose. Checking this box stops single set duplicates from being output. This will not alter the database, it is runtime only. Override pause schedule, the advanced menu features a control which allows you to schedule a pause of any length at a set time daily. This pause will apply to all generators in your rig, thus it's called a global control. Checking the box here enables this channel to opt out of your pause. Prevent global start, the advanced menu contains a set of start, pause, and stop buttons. These are global controls and will control all generators in your rig at the same time. The checkbox here allows you to keep this channel's transmission independent of global control. Back to contents. Out 2 control, I out 2 equals, out 9 1, plus 0 hertz, out 2 equals, out 9 1, volts, JW copy gate stop when out 1 stops, out 2 control, when using both outs, this is where you configure the settings for out 2, unsurprisingly, here, you can specify a constant frequency multiplier and a constant frequency addition to apply to out all frequencies. You can also set a constant voltage multiplier, and choose to copy your out or gate settings. Copy gate is mainly useful for plasma mode. Stop when out 1 stops halts transmission from out 2 when a pause frequency set, 0 Hz, runs on out all. Out 2 can be used to provide contact mode to a second subject using the same frequencies as out all, or set to 180 degrees out of phase to increase the power for one subject. I out 2 equals foot 91 plus Q Hertz, when inverse plus sync is selected, these fields become irrelevant.
and are grayed out and unavailable. 138, for plasma systems, OUT2 would provide either a fixed carrier, resonant load, or harmonically related carrier for a system using a non-resonant balloon. Waveform displays, the top pane shows a single cycle of the waveform for OUTL. The middle pane shows OUT2, and, the lower pane shows the combined output. This is a damped sinusoidal with 11 entered in the wave cycle multiplier field to the right of the waveform selectors. Wave cycle multiplier can be used with any waveform to enfold subwaves into single cycles, a spooky two world first exclusive. This allows you to exceed the frequency limit of your generator, a spooky 2 5 m 5 MHz, can output 25 MHz. Back to contents, waveform selectors, from the top down, these are, sine, square, sawtooth, inverted sawtooth, triangle, damped sinusoidal, damped square, H-bomb sinusoidal, and H-bomb square. Each one, plus the spike plus sync waveform when selected, may be inverted by ticking its checkbox. The damped sinusoidal wave was used by Dr. Royal Raymond Reif in his documented cure of 14 terminal cancer and 2 terminal TB cases in 1932. 139, the damped square and both H-bomb waveforms are extrapolations of the principles involved in this wave. All four are orders of magnitude more powerful than the first five waveforms in the list. We recommend the square versions for your experiments, and the sinusoidal ones for scanning with spooky pulse. JBXBYL, R1020I, IBXBY3 Rankings 102 Degrees I. Custom Wave 4 Menus, these menus allow you to choose any of the 9 Spooky 2 Waves, plus 3 new ones Lily, BXBY, and Square Harmonic. By selecting them here, you can edit their values for Wave Cycle Multiplier, Spike Length and Ratio, and, best of all, for Spectrum. Your edits, together with any modulation settings you make for F2 equals F1, are written to file and saved in the waveforms folder inside the Spooky2 directory on C drive. You can rename these files in Windows, and create as many as you wish. Because they're CSV files, you can open, view, and edit them in any spreadsheet program. To load new waves, simply drop the files into your own waveforms folder and choose Refresh Waveforms from the file menu. Wave Cycle Multipliers, the X column of controls to the right of the waveforms turns Spooky2 into something very, back to contents, special indeed. Spooky2 creates each frequency as what's known as an arbitrary waveform. This allows all of its frequencies to be constructed from multiple copies of the waves. This is extremely important for the damped and H-bomb waves because the number of decay frequencies in each must be set correctly. However, this can also be applied to the other waveforms too. Example, a plain sine wave with wave cycle multiplier set to 10 will be able to reach frequencies of up to 25 MHz, or even higher. 1, 2 controls in the follow out or button. If you're using both outputs, these controls allow you to make independent waveform selections for each one, or to have out to reflect out all settings. With Spooky Boost, Follow out 1 should only be used if frequency differs on out 1 and 2. Spike plus sync, selecting this uses out 2 to create a high voltage spike which is then injected into the waveform on out all. The duration of the spike is set in, in the length field. There are 1024 sample points that make up a full waveform. However, lower values work best by providing a short, sharp burst of energy that can punch holes in a cancer or pathogen cell wall. This is called electroporation. The spike's voltage is controlled by the ratio parameter. If your amplitude is set to 20V, and you enter 4 in this field, the spike's voltage will be 20V, and the remainder of the wave will be 5V, 20 4. If you enter 2, the spike will still be 20V, but the rest of the wave will be LOV, 20 2. Plus spike slash spike checkboxes, Checking these allows you to specify whether you wish to produce positive spikes only, negative spikes only, or both. Spike count, enter the number of spikes you wish to inject. Entering zero will inject the maximum number possible. Inverse plus sync, in contact mode, 
This allows you to effectively quadruple the output power of your 5M generator. Creates a mirror image of outer on out too. When using either spike plus sync or inverse plus sync, your electrodes or remote must be connected with a spooky boost cable. Alternatively for contact mode, connect two BNC to alligator clips cables, one to outer and the other to out too. Then attach each red alligator clip only to your electrodes. To prevent the unconnected black clips from accidentally touching, you can wrap each one roughly with sellotape. Be warned that applying high voltage low frequencies, below about 10,000 Hz, can cause painful muscle lockups, so please put a check mark in the reduce amplitude box before starting. This allows you to use high power and comfort. Back to contents, note. Different people have different thresholds at which this effect kicks in, my own is about 1000 Hz. So it's worth experimenting with the frequency value field in the reduce amplitude control to ensure you get maximum value from your frequencies. F2 multiplier, Spooky2 can transmit two frequencies throughout one, alone, F2 is the second one. These must be mathematically related by multiplier. Degrees allow the addition of a phase angle to F2 for frequency adding or modulating. Example, if you enter 3, F2 will be the third harmonic of Fi, Fix3. If you enter 11, it's the 11th harmonic, Fix11. You'd normally enter a straight integer value in the multiplier field, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 64, etc. Dr. Anthony Holland recently found that adding an 11th harmonic to any frequency greatly increased its power. This can be used with any wave. F2 modulation menu and checkbox, this is where you decide how F2 interacts with Fi. To activate the entire F2 equals F1 system, check the box to the left of the menu. Your menu choices are, add Fi to F2, modulate F2 using Fi, AMDSB and modulate F2 using FI, AMSSB, F2 equals F1, I, I, X, Hertz, add FI to F2, channels and user data, channel 10, user data, program patient name email, S, plus 1, V allow channel overwrites V every time, enable emails, email message, notes, send email, save as, 3457891010 0% percent 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0% 0
This system works with POP email clients like Outlook and Windows Mail. It will only work with IMAP email accounts like Gmail, Hotmail, or Yahoo if you use a POP email client that has been correctly configured to also access Hotmail. Email message, enter the text of the message you wish to send to your subject. The names of all sets loaded into the selection field will be appended to your message. Selection, this field contains names of the set, S, you've loaded from your conditions list search. If you change your mind about any, simply double click each to remove it. The entire list can be cleared by clicking the button at the top right of the field. Notes, personal users can enter any notes they wish concerning the preset they're about to save. Clinicians can use this to enter subject notes. These will not be sent in emails. Send email, clinicians can click this button to send their email to the subject. Save as. You can also save multiple sets loaded in the selections box by clicking this button. It saves all frequencies in all sets under a new set name to your custom database, potentially saving time when setting up multiple channels. Backslash S10J channel buttons, there's one for each generator. Green means the channel is running, red means it stopped. L1-1. The top numeral is the COMM port, USB, number. The bottom is the channel program's percentage completed. Back to contents 143, status bar, as the name suggests, this area of Spooky 2's interface is used to report system status data, mainly for operations tracking and error reporting. If you ever experience problems that can't be attributed to the normal causes, tech support may ask you to email a screenshot of this part of your interface. GC, generator count reports the number of generators found by Spooky2 at launch. CH, the last channel generator that Spooky2 wrote a command to. DX, the data that was sent to that channel generator. RX, the response that the channel generator returned. TE, number of timer conflicts, these are internal precautionary code in case of software issues. WE, if Spooky2 prevents any any communications conflicts. This value increments. RE, when a command is issued to a channel generator, Spooky2 awaits a response. If none is received, this value increments. CE, channel number where the last error occurred. LE, the command that was not responded to as shown here. PO-4, raw values returned from a connected Spooky pulse. Button, click to clear all error report boxes. Back to contents. 144, Control Panel, Channel Control 3, Start, P3 USO, Hold, I Recce, Stop, 1,595,645.833-1,662,479.167, Reverse Lookup ITNDUDE Octal Point 1% Tolerance, Biofeedback Scan, Start Frequency 1 Finish Frequency 2 Initial Step Size, Decimal places zero max hits to find, 1, frequencies, 1, 100,000, hertz, go, hertz, detect pulse, max BPM, min BPM C max HRV, 10A, 20, 1, 3 minutes R, use RA use peak 2 DP max, single scan, total runtime treatment duration, 4 11 and 20 seconds, 0 o'clock, LJ, start. Spooky Spectrum Sweep, CUST, Output, Frequency Waveform Duty Side Amplitude Offset Phase Angle, BPM HRV, Out 10, Sine Wave 50%, of 0%, 0 degrees, of BPM Avenue HRV Avenue, GALV, BPM, Emulating Spooky Pulse, Out 20, Sine Wave 50%, of 0%, 0 degrees, sync on, when a channel is stopped, its channel button is, red to reflect this. When you click on the button to open the channel's control panel, this too, is red. This control panel, is waiting to start, the timer field beneath the list of frequencies reads 0 seconds, and the progress bar is empty. Back to contents, 145, channel control 37, start, pause. Hold, 
amplitude, wobble, frequency, wobble, stop, reverse lookup I, do doctor point one percent tolerance, biofeedback scan, 95, 1550, 802, 880, 787, 622, J, I 180, 119 frequencies, 14, 100,000, Hertz, go, start frequency 1, finish frequency 2, initial step size 0 0.01, decimal places 0, max hits, to find 10, start delay 20 I, 46 minutes R, detect pulse, Hertz, R, max BPM in BPM max HRV, use RA use peak 2 DP max, start, back to contents, total runtime treatment duration, 042, 002, output, frequency waveform duty side amplitude offset phase angle, out 1 3000 sawtooth 51% LOB 0%, 0 degrees, inverse plus in, CIO slash, 0%, 0 degrees, BPM HRV, off, BPM Avenue, HRV, BPM, emulating spooky pulse, sync off, when you click the start button, the control panel turns green to show that it's transmitting, and so does the channel button. This control panel is currently transmitting its program, the timer field reads 119 seconds, and the progress bar is almost filled, indicating that the current frequency has almost gone through its dwell. 146, there's a lot going on here, so let's go through all the control and information elements in the panel one by one, channel control 10, total runtime 5 o'clock x, treatment duration 0 o'clock, on the left is the channel number that's being controlled by this panel, and on the right you see your total runtime. In this example, repeats are set to 4 for each set, and 0 for the complete program. So the total runtime is 5 hours. If repeat program is set to a number greater than zero for a timed treatment, you'll see the total run time for your complete program. Treatment duration beneath shows how long your program has been running for. XI the red X button closes the control panel and locks the channel so it cannot be changed. To its left, the J settings button with the wavy graphic also closes the channel, but leaves it unlocked so that you can change its frequency sets and settings. Finally, the leftmost button closes the channel and clears all frequency sets loaded, but leaves your settings in place. Channel control 10, total runtime 1 o'clock, Y1, treatment duration 0 02 and 7 seconds, above is a channel that's currently running. The only control that's available to close its control panel is the X button. The settings button and the button are both grayed out and unavailable because you cannot change settings for a channel that's already transmitting, nor can you change its frequency sets. The availability of some of the other controls in the channel control panel also depends on whether the channel is currently transmitting or not, back to contents 147, transmission buttons, some are grayed out till the channel, runs. Bold text on a button shows it was clicked last. Pause hold, and wobble are, toggles that remain active till you click them again. Start, pause, and stop are obvious. Hold remains on the current frequency indefinitely till it's clicked again. The wobble buttons apply amplitude and or frequency wobbles as configured in the advanced menu, click to start. The wobble frequency continues indefinitely. Click again to stop and continue progression through the program. Progress bar, tracks progress through each frequency. The number to the right, 180, is the dwell in seconds. Pause, hold, amplitude, wobble, frequency, wobble, stop, back to contents, 16,932.43, 16,939.43, 16,542.41, 16,939.43 is, 20, 36729120, B, 1, frequencies, 40, 
Detox Kim Trail 2, XTRA, Lung General, CAFL, Breathing Deep, CAFL, Breathing Difficulty, Dyspnea. XTRA, four sets are shown at right and at left their frequencies. To start with a specific frequency, double click it, then click Start. To jump to a different one while the channel is running, double click it. Button, removes all frequencies from the list. Timer, showed the number of seconds elapsed for the current frequency, bottom left. Editable when the channel is stopped. Frequency count, displays your total number of frequencies taking account of all repeat settings, 40 is shown above. 148, output at 1 out 2, frequency 1534 1534, waveform square wave inverse plus sync, duty side 50% 50%, Amplitude 20V 20V, Offset 0% 0%, Phase Angle 0 degrees 0 degrees, Output Panes, the two grey fields display all aspects of the signals being output by your generator from both outs, Frequency, Waveform, Duty Cycle, Amplitude, Offset, and Phase Angle. A grayed out 2 means that a second output is not available, as with a UDB1108S generator connected, which has one out. These fields are not editable. The frequency you see here may not be what you see on the generator display. When this happens, look at your waveform's X field, you'll always find that its value is greater than 1. What's happening is that Spooky2 is transmitting an arbitrary waveform made up of the number of subwaves you see in the X field. Obviously, the generator can't display all these subwaves at the same time, so it just displays 1. So if your waveform has 16 subwaves, you're seeing 1 16th of the frequency that's actually being output. And this can be verified by connecting an oscilloscope to your generator's output. Generator graphic, Spooky2 shows you an image of whichever generator you're using for each channel. If your channel uses a Spooky2-5M, you'll see it here, with its sync status displayed beneath. For this channel, Sync on means that the outputs are synchronized because inverse plus sync or spike plus sync is selected. To turn sync off, you must select follow out instead. This is a UDB1108S. These generators have only one output. Sync is thus not applicable, and will always be reported as off. Biofeedback scan, this is its own section here, and will soon have its own more detailed user's guide. Back to contents. 149, Reverse Lookup, this feature allows users to compare frequencies found in biofeedback scans, or entered manually, with those in the database, and associate them with conditions or pathogens for which they are commonly used. I have three scanned frequencies here, 333, 523, and 786, plus another I've entered manually, 919. I've specified a tolerance of 0.1% which will give me a fairly tight spread to search. I don't want octal harmonics, so I've left that option unchecked. When I click the Go button, Spooky2 takes a few seconds to search the database, then returns the results in the window shown below. Now I know all the problems for which these frequencies can be used. So I'm wiser than I was before. If I wish, I can now save the results as a text file to pour over later at my leisure and perhaps do some further research. As always with Rife, knowledge is power. Reverse lookup results, SS, 1, matches found for Hertz, 918 Hz-920 Hz, Badless Anthrads 4, Cancer Feline Cat, Cancer Leukemia Feline, Cancer Leukemia Campylobacter Fetus Smear 2, Bacterial Infections Gram Positive, Borrelia Lyme 2 and 3 thirds, Borrelia Lyme 5, Borreliosi, exit, save and exit, matches found for 333 Hz, 333 Hz-333 Hz, acute pain, addiction drugs, adenoids 1 half, adenovirus 11 slash 2, allergies 1, emote matches found for 523 Hz, 522 Hz-524 Hz, dash, 524 hertz, abdominal pain, acute pain, adnexetus, Adnexetus, adrenal gland stimulant 2 and 1 half, adenovirus 11 slash 2, back spasms 1 half, black death, boils 1, 
bronchitis 2 and 1 half, Bibonarii aspergillus glaucus, aspergillus glaucus, aspergillus glaucus, cancer basic 12 slash 6, matches found for 786 Hz, 785 Hz 787 Hz, Barlinum, Borrelia Lyme 1, Borrelia Lyme 2 and 2 thirds, Borreliosis 14 slash 7, Breast tumors e adenovirus 11 slash 2, Atherosterosis 2 thirds, Back spasms 2 halves, Bartonella henslae, Black abdominal inflammation, Abscesses 2, Abscesses 3, Abscesses, Adosis, Acne 1, Back to contents, 150, Biofeedback scanning, by adding spooky pulse to a 5M generator, you can scan the body for frequency anomalies, the UDB1108S needs the spooky amplifier. Biofeedback scanning inputs frequencies directly into the body with electrodes. The spooky pulse clip is attached to the earlobe or left little finger, this monitors blood flow using an infrared light detector. If any input frequency is also present in the body, it will produce a momentary stress due to sympathetic resonance, called a hit. This causes a minute change in cardiac activity which is detected by Spooky Pulse, and the frequency which provoked it is recorded by Spooky 2. There are two ways in which you can use this function, for custom scans, and for personal program optimization, 1. Custom scans, to scan for unknown problems, you must first erase all frequencies from the channel you're using. Then enter your scan parameters, back to contents, 151, max hits to find, a reasonable value would be 10 spooky 2 will select the best 10 hits after the scan. It will then go back and carefully sweep above and below each one to find its exact value. Start delay, sets the number of heartbeats before spooky 2 will start the frequency sweep, giving you a chance to get ready and to become accustomed to the frequency, 20 is suggested if you're being assisted, and 200 if you're alone. Use pulse, Spooky2 will detect and report maximum or minimum pulse rates based on BPM or maximum for HRV. In most cases for BPM, you would choose maximum. When max HRV is selected, the graph will change its modes to show the HRV trace. Many biofeedback devices use this rather than BPM for hit detection. Use RA use peak buttons, RA is running average, pulse rate, best used for longer scan sessions where the heart rate falls. The peak option is for those who wish to run short scans where the average heart rate is not likely to change very much. 2 dp max, this checkbox constrains found frequencies to two decimal places accuracy it's not relevant or available for custom scans, only for program optimization. Single scan, when this is checked, 